I wear a lot of pride stuff at work. Rainbow Doc Martens, shirts, socks. And today, one of the volunteers, around 30, said, I like your shirt. Do you like, uh, colors? <laughs> yes, Cheryl. I'm a color enthusiast. It is colors I love. Colors alone, not men at all, ever. <laughs> Cheryl. Oh, you, you tried though. <laughs> this feels like Cheryl was trying out a very new icebreaker with someone they didn't know. And they, 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 they tried to get off on the good foot. And I, you know, Applaud their efforts. <laughs> as goofy and as silly as it was, I think that was a, a great first step. Good job, Cheryl. <laughs> What's up, my bearders and weirdos? One topic here. And today we're diving into r slash Achilles and his hell. It's been a minute. I really like this subreddit. A number of you have been asking for it lately, and I thought, heck yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Many of you remember Sappho and her friend. It's a lot like that one, but with a slightly different spin. All right, let's get started. And before we do, YouTube, cut it out. Stop demonetizing my videos. It's not cute anymore. And when you email me back and say, oh yeah, we just demonetized it for an entire day for no reason. It's becoming a little bit less believable that periodically you'll demonetize my video for an entire day. Oop, when you think I'm not looking, you'll remonetize it back again at night and not tell me. Hmm, it's a little suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, video time. Yeah, therapy is cool. But can mentally stable people do this? Drags Hector's body around the city of Troy three times, weeping openly about the death of his beloved Patroclus. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> ah, as besties do. <laughs> Here from the oil field now, oil and gas talk, jobs and news media. Having a good woman is great, but when you find a good hand, you hold on to him. Oh, <laughs> what an unexpected but pleasant twist. <laughs> Tank Corps, U.S. Army, 1942. Propaganda posters. <laughs> and uh, this is what they were using to entice gentlemen to join the army, was it? I gotcha. <laughs> sure looks like a good time, doesn't it? Mm. <laughs> Why do you both sound like men? Replying to Bobby D. Land's lap, my Fantas. <laughs> what? <laughs> but how are you guys boyfriends if no one's a girl? <laughs> oh, oh, child discovers gay people <laughs> exist. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who's letting kids on TikTok though? <laughs> Don't do it. Don't let kids on the internet. It's not a place for children. <laughs> hey, buddy, can you pull this out for me? <sighs> I didn't know slimes could talk. Well, pulling the sword out didn't turn me back into a sermon. I'm gonna be alone in this dungeon forever. <laughs> Don't worry. There's no way I could let that happen. What? Where did the girl one come from? <laughs> <laughs> you see, between these two amorphous blobs, I have decided this one is the man blob, and this one is the, the newer lady blob. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> please. <laughs> Let new Disney Cruella with Emma Stone just ruin my childhood with an openly flamboyant gay in the movie. <laughs> Disney persists shoving the LGBT agenda down. If that ruined your childhood, I sure hope you didn't watch Full House. Three single men living under one roof raising kids in San Francisco. <laughs> I've got the cliff notes. I've seen that show referenced enough times online, but I, it was a little bit before my time, John Stamus. <laughs> <laughs> Roommates. So according to my mom's family, my uncle Peter has just been living with his male roommate for 17 years. <sighs> Ignorance is bliss, hey? <laughs> Probably doing it as besties. <laughs> when the historians say they're close friends. This idiot's rewriting history, and unfortunately, it's all wrong. <laughs> oh, to be a bored prince who keeps rejecting marriage proposals due to being secretly in love with a cute gardener boy. Oh, to be a cute gardener boy who secretly places roses in the prince's room because he is in love with him. Oh, to be the palace guard who discreetly helps to boost the cute garden. 
Gartender? <laughs> Gardener boy up the wall for his secret deliveries in the middle of the night. Power to be the prince's best friend, witnessing the two fools dance around each other while knowing damn well that the two like each other. Oh, to be the noble suitor from another royal family who comes to know of their love instantly and plans an entire plan to get them their happy ending. Oh, uh, to be a medieval peasant who knows nothing about the prince's personal life and who dies of dysentery at age 23. <laughs> That's not, that's, that's not what we're doing here today. <laughs> ah, get out of here, common folk. You peasant, get out of our romance story with your dirt. <laughs> Sweet. Some gay friends and I rented a cabin upstate this weekend and took a bus to get here. And as we all got off the bus, the driver says, Have fun! Is there another bus coming with all the girls? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Matt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is how I know that one of my videos is doing well because okay. I start getting comments like, Husband? Did you husband? say husband? <gasps> what do you mean, husband? I don't get these comments when it's mostly just my followers because you all know me, but comments like these are the telltale sign that my video has reached a larger audience. Aww. So, for anyone asking this question, yes, in 2021, <laughs> gay people exist. Sometimes we get married and sometimes we talk about it on TikTok. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> yeah, I have seen a number of people discover my TikTok as well, and they're a little bit less than accepting of certain individuals. And I've noticed that specifically in the dad joke videos I've been putting out. Three non-binary dad jokes. I love that. I love dad jokes to my core. <laughs> but yeah, I notice a few new people stumble into those comments and they don't quite get the vibe yet of the community and they're very silly. But what I do appreciate is that our community comes together to correct them wholesomely and understandingly, even if they are attempting to be a troll. I really like that vibe about us. That would be pretty cool. 2,800 year old kiss. The human remains of two people discovered in 1972 who are seemingly in a position for a kiss. Depending on their sex, they might just be roommates. Excavated in 1972, the well-known Hassan Lu lovers are speculated to have been taking refuge from a fire that consumed their village in 800 BC. A DNA analysis found that they were both male. Huh, father and son, I would think. Father and son? Couldn't be father and son or brothers. Could have been family members. Could be brothers. They were probably siblings or related. And if they were brothers and one was saying goodbye to the other really closely by leaning in for a sweet, sultry kiss. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about all of you, but I for one would be thinking it's a little bit odd to give one sibling a big ol' smooch on the mouth. <laughs> Changing the soundtrack makes this an entirely different movie. <laughs> okay, for those who don't know, that's Chuck Norris without a beard. And uh, this is Bruce Lee. And they're <laughs> and this is before a very epic showdown. I think they're gonna the battle one another. I'm not sure I <laughs> I'm not sure I remember this movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm, 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 mm. I'm not sure it was just the different soundtrack that made that seem like an entirely different movie. That cheeky bum look. An amateur Adam, why did you make your character gain the dramatization when IRL you are not? Oh, hi. Sounds like I need to have an awkward chat with my husband. <laughs> To be honest, queer romance is held to a much higher standard than het romance. Like, a man can cry over another man, be close to another man, protect another man repeatedly, give up everything for another man, and there will still be people saying that a romantic interpretation is completely baseless. And it's great that platonic love can be so strong. And don't erase friendship. I do all that for my friends. <laughs> but then a man and a woman share a pencil and suddenly romance is alive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, yeah, I mean, essentially, that's kind of what happened in Twilight, right? <laughs> Dang, you're a bit stinky. And she's like, <gasps> I'm in love. <laughs> <laughs> Same vibes. <laughs> Dr. James Barry finished school at 22 and rose in the ranks as a British Army surgeon. In Africa, Barry performed one of the first successful C-sections where mother and child survived. In Canada, in 1857, Barry became Inspector General of Hospitals and made improvements for the poor. When Barry died after a remarkable career. The army tried to suppress Barry's records and all access to them was shut down for 100 years. When it was revealed she was a woman, Margaret Ann Bulkley, disguised as a man. <sighs> you know, this really reminds me of that SpongeBob meme. Hang on a second. Oh, 
Oh, so if being trans is natural, then why are there no records of you until recently? Historians to all records of trans people in history. Uh, uh, sad SpongeBob laughing noises. Uh, <laughs> Straight people will try so hard to erase anything gay. You could have two boys rolling around in the grass and they gotta explain it like... Uh, Two men inspecting the grass closely. <laughs> Details unknown. <laughs> Still though, cute picture. <laughs> I think that's a yes. Aww. Ah, can someone explain to me what's going on? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> a guy proposes. His boyfriend can barely handle the emotionality of it. I don't understand. It's two men. What do you mean proposing? Like proposing for what? <laughs> for a business arrangement for tax dodging purposes, of course. <laughs> Marriage. Marriage between two men. <laughs> Hello, fellas. Local person admits to have never heard of gay. <laughs> <laughs> you try so hard and get so far. But in the end. <laughs> when we were talking about our type in Spanish and my teacher Teacher corrected alto to alta. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> um, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Top 10 handshake moments in NHL history. Ah. Uh, oh. Uh, hmm. Uh, hmm. Uh, straight people. <laughs> Wanna tell me what this is? <laughs> handshake moment, is it? Okay. <laughs> Good movies! Thanks to chicks! Insults a king! Slays a giant! Just another Monday morning for Achilles! Mm. Oh, hang on, this reminds me of something else. <laughs> this review never leaves my head. I can excuse the historical inaccuracies, but I draw the line at Achilles being straight. <laughs> Happy tune. Sponsored. Is this what friends do? <laughs> oh. Oh. Hmm. Oh my God, John. I'm carrying all my school books, but I'm about to drop my snack. Don't worry. I've got it. <laughs> it feels like we're more than friends. Read Cherry Blossoms After Winter on Tappy Tune. <sighs> Two bros chilling in an airplane five feet apart because they're not gay. <laughs> Aww. Well, you don't want to be apart from your homie for so long, so you glue your planes together. <laughs> Straight historian voice. I'm, I'm just going to use mine. <laughs> they used fond language such as my lover, my darling. I miss your arms around me. I wish I could marry you. And I miss your lips on mine. Though they were never proven to be in a relationship. Oh, <laughs> comrades in arms, they must have been. <laughs> That's why they mention arms. Yes. See? Yeah, it all ties together. <laughs> Straight historian voice. I'm still just gonna use mine. <laughs> they were more passionate about friends' hip in the bygone eras. No one was ever gay until the late 1800s. Gay just was not invented yet. <laughs> ah, early peoples were just very into their friends' hips. <laughs> After the death of his closest male confidant, Hephaestion, Alexander the Great refuses to eat, cries in bed for weeks, creates one of the most expensive funerals in the ancient world in his honor, and then subsequently dies within eight months of losing him. Historians! <laughs> like, all right, but they died as friends, right? Like, that, that's just what bros do. Friendship kiss between Russian and U.S. soldier during World War II. Aww. <laughs> I wonder if they did friendship. Oh, no. <laughs> hmm. Hey, now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a lovely video. I must share my thoughts. <laughs> they seem like such good friends. Such good pals. <laughs> Advanced for bromance. Celebrate friendship with Oscar and Michael and decorate their living room. Uh, it's very affectionate arm touching for bromance. <laughs> Achilles! Had you no reverence for the unsullied holiness of your thighs? Ungrateful for the many kisses I gave you? Historians! There's no evidence they were lovers. Uh, I didn't know that. Dude, we made out pretty regularly in our freshman year. It's a good way to relieve stress. <laughs> we f 
on your bed as bros do. <laughs> <laughs> I think I recognize this actually. Yeah, there we go. Every time someone mentions boyfriends, I will link it. I remember this. Yeah, boyfriends on Webtoon. A number of you have sent this to me before. <laughs> CIL! During the Middle Ages, there was a legal category called embrotherment that allowed two men to share living quarters, pool their resources, and effectively live as a married couple. The couple shared one bread, one wine, one purse. Lads. <laughs> James Gunn says Peacemaker isn't straight, in case all of the adult fun time with men didn't make that clear. Oh! <laughs> I have not seen Peacemaker yet. It's Valentine's Day and love is in the air, and for everyone's favorite toilet bowl helmet wearing lunatic, that love could be from someone of any gender. As I guessed earlier this week, in an article titled Peacemaker is the messy bisexual hero we all need, Peacemaker is interested in adult fun time with about anyone as long as they're a consenting human adult. All right, my beard is weirdos. I think that's a fun place to end today's video. I didn't know that about Peacemaker. I'm gonna have to check that out. <laughs> oh, if you like today's video. I know it's a little bit silly, and of course I got a little bit angry at YouTube at the beginning, you know, because <laughs> I want to take a moment to say thank you to all the individuals who write really nice or even constructive comments on these videos. It means a lot to me, especially all of you that make it all the way to the end. And I say, ah, oh, please recommend a subreddit to me. And then you do like, okay. <laughs> what I'm seeing recommended more often is r slash legal cat advice. And it's, it's cute. I'm also getting a ton of animal subreddit recommendations and I'd love to cover them. I think what I might do is I might stick to the regular content on the main channel, but on the second channel, I might start covering some of the smaller niche ones. Like, do you remember, do you remember bread staple to trees? <laughs> I had a whole video on that subreddit like two and a half years ago or something. It was amazing. <laughs> I'd love to go back into that one, but it might seem a little bit jarring for the people who are used to the content of the main channel. So I might might scoot it over to the second channel. Plus, we have a bunch of new dad joke videos over there. We like dad jokes. Second channel's where it's at. <laughs> All right, my beardos and weirdos. I'll see you in the next one. Are we take it one topic at a time. Roll that outro. Ah, 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 ah. You all thought I forgot about the secret outro? Little did you know that I was actually saving up for a boop outro. I know what all of you are here for. Are you ready?